All right, welcome back. So we've made it to the third continent, I think. Um, we have one combat point on each character, but I'm gonna wait a bit and see, like, what kind of enemies we have to deal with here before I redeem them. Cow sound is kind of kind of quiet, I will say. Um, okay, so what do we got? The Traveler's Haven. Alrighty then. That is not English. Uh... Oh, okay, I thought... Like, <laughs> he says you should have ch uh, chosen to add more modern language to your schedule. You are not from Valencia, Percaso. Exactly, you will be able to continue the conversation. Uh... Yes, you should instead talk to Mama. She is currently running the bar. There's that wanted poster again. There's one chest here. Okay, okay, let's see if this counts. Hidden items do count towards the treasure tracker. That's good to finally know. I like how much the game is building that character up. That character is going to be huge when we finally do meet them. You don't break the ice after you. Uh, excuse me. Good evening. Would you please wait for me in the lobby? Oh no, don't worry about me. These travelers will certainly make better use of your time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so you want to spend the night here? That's right. Do you still have rooms available? We only have one room left with twin beds. Is it suitable for you? Angel, it will be perfect. You want to go to your room now? Yes, we have a long way to go tomorrow. There's three treasures here. Okay. This place is rather cosy? Do you mean cozy? I, yes, it lives up to its reputation. The beds seem to, to me to be even more comfortable than I imagined. Are you going to sleep already? We're getting up tomorrow at sunrise, and personally, I'm already exhausted by today's events. That's understandable. If you still feel up to it, I won't stop you from having fun on your own. I want to look around first, at least to get like these three treasures. Even those count, okay. So it's just any conceivable thing you can add to your inventory. Do not stray from the main road. You know, give me one minute. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Google Translate. English... Wait, no. Detect language to English. I... I think this is Spanish? I really don't know foreign languages that well, admittedly. Um, au per lo menu. It's Italian! Okay. Or at the very least, on per il momento. Do not stray from the main roads, or at least not at the moment, not for the time being. Not only do you risk having a very bad encounter, but also the Guardia re real. The Royal Guard is on edge at the moment. They don't need an in over to any overtime. Okay. Everyone seems terrified of running into the fugitive, yet a big blow to her, her head should be enough to neutralize her, right? I doubt it's that simple. We also come from Valencia. How did you guess it? Oh, jeez. Can I go to sleep, or do I have to go to the bar for something? Maybe some story bits.
You know, is this developer Italian? Um... Hold on, okay. You want a drink. Would you like to drink something? I don't know if, if uh, this is very reasonable. Don't worry, it's included in the price of the stay. If you insist, then I'll have herbal tea. Very good. <laughs> I was gonna wonder if we're, if we're gonna have an underage drinking, like, moment in this game, because, like... Okay, here in the U.S., the age is, like, 21, but I know in other parts of the world it is very different. I think in Italy it, like, is as young as, like, as young as, like, 16, but, like, you need to have your parent with you or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do I sound like the type who would know laws regarding that sort of thing by heart? You know what's worse than poison? No. Laxinima Spurger. If you suffer a burn and lose 10% of your... PV max at the beginning and the end of your turn. Fortunately, unlike poison, poison the burn will go away on its own after a few rounds in case you run out of remedy. Poison doesn't go away? Interesting. Oh god. Oh. I don't know if I have duplicates. Well, that's nice that you can, like, that you can get duplicates. Just talk. With that specific person. Plot important, so. Buena sera. The new uvu. <laughs> Good evening again, beautiful sister. Sister? What does that mean in Valencian? Hello again, young woman. That's not what Google Translate says, but okay, I'll take your word for it. You wouldn't have had a word or two edited. You wouldn't have had a word or two edited out. Who knows? You'll have to find the answer in the in that question for yourself. Unless perhaps you're willing to satisfy my own curiosity. What would a ninny like you know about me? Just your name. You asked for my name without giving me yours first. I would have thought you already knew it. My apologies. Uh, my name is Antonio Del Rosa. I am, among other things, an adventurer and a minstrel. A bard? That's better. You are looking at Angel Rin's ex-student. Where'd you come from, uh, uh, Signora? From the icy plains in the far north of, of the continent? Beyond, perhaps? Sorry to shower your dreams, but I simply grew up in Valencia. Really? Well, looks can be deceiving. Now it's your turn. I'm from the capital, but as you may have guessed, I, uh, I never got used to city life. You must have seen the world. True, but I am still at the beginning of my travels. You should write a book about your travels, it would be a huge success. What you just heard would be the on only the first chapter. Wait, how late is it? Everyone's gone. It's getting really late. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to leave you. Have a good night. You too, see you next time. Maybe I should do the same. Wait. Ah, there we go! The game probably wanted you to wait. Yeah, because I don't think we could get into that before, unless that's a different person. St 
Strength, okay. We don't really have a character that's specialized in strength. Wait, where is he? I'll probably give that to them once once I do. Sweet Dream's father. Wait, where'd he go? No, I don't remember seeing him after you, I showed him your room. You, maybe you know? Because, uh... What are we talking about here? Calm down. Filippo, the lady just wants to know if you have seen her father recently. I saw him coming down the stairs around 9pm. He said he was going to take a little walk to get some fresh air. A little walk? An hour and a half long? Something must have happened to him. Let's see, where could he have gone for a walk? Perhaps he chose to go to the Black Forest. It's a perfect place to take a little walk. I'm already running. Where exactly is the Black Forest? Follow the path to the south for a bit. After a few steps, you should see the edge of the forest in the west. Okay. There's one last thing I want to check. Hold on. Nice. Okay. Might as well check all these areas, actually. Okay, no treasures here. I should have gotten this treasure tracker a long time ago. Okay. That must be it right there. He definitely passed by here. Oh, this battle theme! I've heard this before! Oh my god! Yeah, I think this is like a royalty free battle theme. I love this song. <laughs> This also in like oh god what was it that was the little game with like the really cool crafting system it was called like Panthea or something we might be under leveled I think I was level 12 okay fire seal and blind huh well there's only one of me I actually really love this battle theme. <laughs> Let's blast you with this. Lacerate. Uh, unless you resist this, we've won. Oh! Right, those have... <laughs> what is this way? Uh... How do you do... An even accent. Um, yes, I did mean that. Thank you, Google Translate. God, I love Google Translate. You know, I feel like I have a lot more respect for Google Translate than the average person. Because, like, it's not, like, the greatest translation tool, but, like, it really does get the job done when you need it to. 
I remember I used it a lot in high school, actually, because, um, okay. The staircase collapsed after the recent earthquake. We make every effort to restore it as soon as possible. Oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've ever told the story in a video before, but, like, when I went to high school, it was, like, during the height of the Iraq War, so we, um, a lot of, like, my fellow students were, like, refugees from those territories or those areas. I'm not sure what the terminology is, but, like, you know what I mean. And, like, there were, we had a lot of students that spoke, um, I think it was Arabic. I think that's the language of those areas. And, like, obviously a lot of, like, students who were born and grew up in Maine their whole life had a hard time understanding that. But, like, something I would sometimes do is I would just, like, pull out my school laptop and, like, just pull up Google Translate and we would just, like, talk that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Why are you green? Should I really be fighting anything on my own? I don't need that. Ah, Mimics tend to have good stuff, though. Okay, let, let's analyze you. This is kind of like a solo mini-boss for now, I guess. Level 16. Weak to fire. You don't resist poison. Oh, Jesus Christ, I... Frickin' heck, uh... I was banking on that working, okay. Okay, so this part is gonna be rough. I, I can't help but feel that I'm a tad bit underleveled. Let's look at our skills real quick. Can we learn anything that might help us here? don't want something with delay. Um, although I can't always rely on something that costs TP. Let's get the sleep spell. A lot of stuff here seems to be susceptible to sleep. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me. What is the point of this thing, too? I can't interact with it. I thought it was like an on-screen enemy, but like, this game doesn't do that. <laughs> oh crap, this mechanic again. Wait. This is looping. We take those. <laughs> oh, screw you, game. <laughs> I okay. Path of the Wisps, though. I want to watch this thing real quick. Is that the gimmick? Does the do the wisps tell you where to go? Yeah, cuz this led me somewhere somewhere new last time. There's no wisp on the screen though. Unless maybe I have to get here before it runs off screen. 
I'm gonna run from like all encounters for now. I don't like doing battles solo. Maybe I have to wait for you to go off screen so you can like come to the next come to the next screen or something. Yes! Okay, okay, I was right. I was right. Okay. I do have to race you. Okay, so this one. Ooh. Well, that was the f the first one we saw went up here, but the name of the room is Watch Out for Imposters. Yeah, okay. This might be cheating, but... I'm gonna do some quick loading in this place. I see. I see. Oh, okay. This is a really cool, like, way to... This, this is a really neat gimmick for a lost maze dungeon, I will say. <laughs> Using the map room names as hints is also really cool. Is that the first enemy we found that has light magic? That's interesting. Okay, so you delay, that's your gimmick. Okay, so you're gonna take your sweet time, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> Pick that up. You sure? Go back the way you came. Interesting. All roads lead to El El Elzano. Is that where we're heading right now? I thought we were just meant to be finding our dad right now. Oh, this... Oh, wait, no. I was gonna say this place is looping, but maybe not.
I don't want to fight you. Um, Stone no trace of father. Dad, where are you? Why can't I find you? Let's try to think of uh, something else, otherwise I'll crack. Here's a nice hut, the perfect place to spend the, the rest of the night. That is, if the owner has no objection. I want to go back first. Uh, ooh. I want to find these chests. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second, Metal Slime? I mean, this isn't Dragon Quest, but I got- you know I gotta check. Four health. Okay, it, it is literally a Metal Slime. Ah. Uh <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Ooh, more tokens. Nice. Oh, ah, uh, right. Do mimics count towards the treasure tracker? I'm gonna guess that they do for the time being. It seems like any sort of just treasure just does it, so yeah. Ooh, those are good. Nobody. Well, if I wake up early in the morning, the owner of this hut won't even suspect that I've been here. Oh, that's the fugitive. But no, it's impossible. I have to get out of here now. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm going for it. Oh, no. Bro, it's a one in two chance.
Bro, it's a one in two chance. Oh god. I must escape at all costs. Above all, I must not fall asleep above all. I will never... Oh, jeez. This criminal did not hurt you? Luckily, you didn't give her time. Good thing I didn't hang around otherwise. Better not, uh, better not to imagine what could have happened to me. Is it me or did she leave us a calling card? A book of uh, dedications, perhaps. Seriously, it's more than likely her tome. <laughs> it is ours. I'll gladly leave it to you. Reading tons of magic formulas has never fascinated fascinated me more than it, more than that. Unable, unable to open it. Her owner seems to have foreseen the case where her book would be lost. Better not to insist handling a sealed weapon too much is dangerous, especially knowing who this tome belonged to. A pity. At least it'll do less damage now that it has changed hands. Let's forget this book for a moment. Tell me more about your father. Is it because of him that you made this little nocturnal trip? The footprints at the entrance of the forest suggest that he has indeed come into this woods. However, impossible to find him. It is as if he has vanished. Is he the fugitive? No, no, the game wouldn't do that, I feel. <laughs> I didn't meet anyone in the forest before you. If you missed him, I certainly would have seen him. Is there still greenery further in this, or, or is... Is there still greenery further, or this clearing is more or less officially the end of the forest? Further on is the Alzano Road, about ten hours of walking through the countryside. Or else he only stayed in the forest long enough to leave his traces. Looks like we'll have to spend the rest of the night here. Sorry, but I'd rather be soaked than stuck, struck by lightning. This forest has many trees, much taller than the one of which this hut is located. Believe me, you are much safer here than outside. But, and Father, he too won't get far with the storm. Tomorrow at the first light, we can go back to the inn to see if your father hasn't returned in the meantime. If not, I'll suggest a walk to Alzano. Al Why would you do this for me? Maybe it's a little bit... Partly my fault that you ended up in this situation. I mean, someone like you must have more than bu than a busy schedule. On the contrary, for a few days I have been uh, started to find I have been starting to find the time long. But accepting help from others is in no way a, pr a proof of weakness. If you insist, then I can hardly refuse a helping hand from you. You'll see your father soon. Don't worry. My apologies, but I do not share your optimism. Good evening, Father. As you were working still li uh, late again today, I took the liberty of preparing a herbal tea for you. Oh, but you shouldn't have. If you want something, you can ask me directly. I just wanted this tea bot to cheer you up. A fa uh, it's a failure, isn't it? No, not at all. I really appreciate the gesture. I might try cleaning the classrooms too, um, too one day. It must be so fun to move the brooms in the air. Come on, the principle of, cle of cleaning a room is that it should be cleaned at the end, not to, not to throw dust uh, to, the, to the four winds. Yes, well, you'll help me get started, won't you? This is no job for a little princess like you. What do you mean? Did I miss an episode? I mean, keeping this building clean is my job. Yours is to bring back good grades from school. But you come home almost every day, hours after me, when you still have to take care of the house. Isn't there a way to balance things out a bit? There are uh, parents who dream, uh, who dream day and night of having a child like you. But then, why does Mother not want to see me? The fugitive is... is... her mother, isn't it? I should have made that connection first, but like... Okay, the game has stated several times that the fugitive is a woman, but like... She's also in disguise, so I'm in the back of my head I'm like, you know, maybe it could be David just saying... Saying he's a woman for a cover-up, you know? I probably should have kept my mouth shut. 
Well, sooner or later, I had to have a serious conversation with you about your mother. Sit down comfortably, it may take a long time. Shortly before you were born, a war was raging on the continent. Almost all nations were involved due to the, ga uh, the Game of Alliances. This conflict has been, uh, been named the Last Continental War. Not because others preceded it, but because everyone today hopes that it will uh, really be the last. Despite five years of fighting, neither side had managed to gain a decisive advantage. To force their adversaries to cap capitulate, some, uh, some began to attack civilian populations. It was in this context that your mother landed on the, on the continent. Landed? Wait, what? Your mother is not from the continent. She comes from a land beyond the Northern Sea. In the absence of an official name, the state is nicknamed Archipelago, in reference to the many islands that compose it. That is literally what an archipelago is. <laughs> Can we go there one day? Unfortunately, it will be difficult. This country is located far, far away from here. Traveling there with uh, with a girl like you would be far too long and dangerous. Okay. If you don't have the courage, we can postpone this discussion until later. No, wait. Uh, no way. Where were we? Ah, yes. Mother arrived on the continent at war. Yeah, so she also wanted to end this war, but not for the same um, motivations or with the same means. In a few months, it succeeded by a succession of military successors. Coup de... Coup... Coup de tat? I don't know what that word means. And above all underground nego negotiations to impose a white peace. Once her, mission uh, once her mission accomplished, your mother quickly returned home, so much so that the collective imagination she is more than a myth. And me and all of this? Your mother did not return to the archipelago alone. In the slew of refugees that her war caused, some accompanied her on her way back. Among them was me. Two years la uh, later, your mother gave birth to a beautiful baby with blonde hair. The one watching you right now. The same one, yes. But then why isn't she here with us? She's... gone to heaven? I don't know exactly what happened to her. I haven't seen her for six years now. Well, don't lose hope. I'm sure she still loves you more than anything. If she has the opportunity to reappear in your life, she will be sure of it. Oh. That feels like a different art style from, like, all the other custom art in the game so far. It's like, It feels, like, a lot more pixelated. Huh. Okay. Why does she sleep on the floor? Wait... <laughs> Wait, what happened to your hair? Okay, okay. Here, um, here are already the first light of the morning. Signor Antonio seems to have made good use of the bed. Since I stole half of his night, I guess I can let him sleep a little longer. Let's see if I can't find a way to open this. I can't imagine what kind of formula this book might contain. Ah yes, okay, the owner of the tome really didn't want us to use her toy. Even Professor Lionel would take years to open this book. You might as well entrust it to the, the competent authorities. Let's see how these woods look with a little more light. All in all, this forest is quite nice. With a map in without the monsters, it would be a nice, uh, nice play, perfect place to walk around. Another orange portal. Are some portals time-sensitive? No flaws. Perfect. With such a tome, big uh, critters will have to behave themselves. That's right, there was this little security function. The Night Eagle. That said, it's not as good as the classic seal, but it will do. Also, who here would use a, a grimoire like this one? Oh! Oh! 
That sounds scary. Uh... That's interesting. I think I may have closed um, Google Translate a little too early. There, uh, there aren't many places on the continent where you uh, come across people who speak fluent Nordic. Fluently, I would clearly uh, not, not stand the comparison with Father. Please allow me to apologize for this late awakening. You have nothing to re uh, reproach yourself about, I understand. Perfect then, so let's go back to the inn. Who knows, uh, we might find a surprise customer there. Let's go for a second passage uh, in, this, uh, pl in this plant maze. Known to prepare for such a walk, we'll take a more direct path. You're a party member. Okay. I, I, I'm kind of worried to equip this. I don't know if it's going to, like, seal my equipment or something. Raises maximum MP by 50. That's pretty good. It actually lowers some stats. It, it might be worth it. So how does this work? Does it only appear in battles? Whoa, 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 whoa! I see! Okay, okay. Oh, that's quite good. Enemies pile a lot of status ailments on you in this game, so I'm actually gonna get that. That's pricey, but I think it'll be very worth it. So now if I take that off, I still have the item? Or I still have the magic I just learned? Looks it. That's something else. Okay. I don't know what else I would want right now. Let's take a look at what you have. You have Mug. Okay. I like skills that do that. Whoa. Why 42%? That feels kind of random. Charm. You have teleport as well. You seem like a physical guy. You are. Okay. Um, okay. Let's try that out. Is there like an auto attack up somewhere? Auto Dexterity up. Ooh. 
Ooh. I'm gonna hold off for now, but that's it's good to get that. Just put a passive on you. Wait. Oh god, okay. That'll be it for now. I'm excited to try out this new character. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.